Okay, so I ended up going with a an approach that basically replicates the weaving technique that is used here. I didn't do the ends, uh, but I did do this part, which is kind of the important part. The end, we can just use tuber, uh, and it would be, you know, also a bit tricky, but use the same approach I'm using here uh, and just change it up a little bit and you'll most probably know how to do it. Anyway, let's jump into it. So I'm going to hide this guy and I'm just going to show you the workflow that I used. So I'm, I'm going to start with creating a cube. Uh, I want my cube to be uh, of specific dimensions. So, so I'm going to go with 2 for height, maybe 1.4 for depth. And then I don't know how long I want it to be. Let's do like 18. Oops. 18. There we go. Now I also want a zero transforms, just so I'm like right in the center. And the reason I'm doing this is so my cube is matching the proportions of my grid. Now, uh, another thing I want to do is give it some subdivisions um, so I can split those into uh, in the, in the individual uh, strips. So I'll, I'll maybe lower it to something that makes a bit more sense for me. Maybe 38 will do the trick for me here. And also, I think I'll uh, give it more height subdivisions. So maybe just like a couple height subdivisions. All right, cool. So next, what do I want to do? I want to get rid of my tips. And I want to get in here and basically bevel my corners. I guess it's not something I just selected. bevel my corners um this will do there we go next uh a second here. okay there we go so now i have this uh basically what i want to do next is <coughs> excuse me i want to take one segment let's smooth it and basically, I want to take this segment, so I'm going to detach component and separate. So I have only this. First thing that I'll do is I'll get rid of the back. Um, second thing that I'll do is I'll get rid of the top, including all of this portion. So I'm going to get in as like this tiny bottom quadrant. Now, I want to move my pivot point a little bit closer here. So I can duplicate it, but I want to duplicate it uh, using duplicate special. I'm going to use minus in the X, I think, and minus in the Y. And I'm going to use an instance. So I get something like this. And I want to make sure that I'm slightly more offset here. There we go. So what this basically means is when I extrude here, I'm uh, also extruding on top. So next, I want to rotate this, and I'm going to snap this, oops, I'm going to snap this little guy to my corner, rotate until we're kind of pointing at each other, and then scale until we're nice and straight. Next, I'm going to extrude, uh, basically pull it in, and... Get it closer. Basically, want to match it like this. Just 
this little piece too. Yeah, basically I want to match it like this. Uh, let's get these two to connect. There we go. There we go. We got these two to connect. Next ones, we can pull them back a little bit. And then next ones, we can pull them back a little bit. Basically, what we want to do here is create a little transition. There we go, this looks a bit better. So again, let's let's just do it again real quick, because I feel like it might have looked a bit confusing. So I'm starting from here, and I'm creating the initial uh, overlap. Let's get the topology going so we can actually see. Then I'm moving it in, pushing it in a little bit, and then I'm meeting uh, in the middle. So as long as I'm meeting in the middle, I can now adjust my previous one, so we're like a little bit more. And we can decide how deep we want to go, right? Okay, so now that we have this transition, all we have to do is duplicate it all over the place. Let's go again to the front. Make sure that we're not like going sideways anywhere. Something like this. And there we go. We're doing pretty good. Okay. Now that I, that I have this going on, Can kill my history, and uh, next I can basically <clears throat> either subdivide it once more, which for sure I want to do. But before I do any of that, I think it's a good idea to uh, duplicate it all over the place so we have the full thing. So I'm gonna combine those, and then I'm going to duplicate and scale in the X. So I get the opposite side. And now, uh, basically what I want to do is I want to move this one forward and move the other one back. So in this case, I might want to come in and merge uh, those vertices here in the center. So we... Tiny bit. There we go. So now we have a nice transition. I forgot to do it here, so I'll do it as well. There we go. So now basically what I want to do is move these a little bit back. So I'll select this edge loop and maybe like get it a, a tiny bit larger. Get my soft selection to size and just push it back a little bit. And then do the same thing here. Move this thing a little bit forward. And this, this guy moving forward is the important part, because that's kind of what creates. And we can even move it more from the interior. So if I convert this to vertices and I just get rid of the other vertices and just get the central line moving forward with a soft selection, we'll get the correct kind of um, form here. I can bring this guy forward again a little bit. There we go. That's better. So now that we have these two, we, we want to duplicate them to the opposite side. So let's do that. So combine, uh, duplicate, and I think it's in the Z. The only thing I want to change here is I want my pivot point, uh, the X, to be here. And then I'm going to duplicate and minus one on the Z. Okay, there we go. So now we can combine these together and make sure that our uh, vertices here are merged. Let's just go like this. So 
let's go less than that. Like this. Boom. Okay, and now we can check that they're actually merged. If I move with a soft select, everything is connected. Beautiful. Now, uh, I want to extrude. Actually, before I extrude, what I'm going to do, I'm going to subdivide it once more. Let's move it. And now we're going to extrude. Just a little bit. And uh, another thing I want to do is maybe select this external edge loop. There we go. Convert to edge perimeter, crease. So now I get something like this. Beautiful. All I have to do now is duplicate it a bunch of times. Let's hide topology and make sure that we're meeting nicely. Cool. And uh, let's keep doing that. So Shift F or Shift D, I mean. All right, this will do. Maybe even, I don't even maybe need the last one. Let's grab all of those and move them so to sit on top of these guys. Now, what we need to do is replace the duplicates with instances so we can adjust them. So I'm going to go modify, uh, we'll replace objects, see if it works. Seems to keep wanting to move them somewhere for some stupid reason, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, okay, so let's just move this guy so we have a nice... Right here, move them back into place. Okay, and we could have just duplicated them. Let's just make sure that we're... We have a nice... Yeah, we're sitting quite well. Okay, so all we have to do now is basically select the vertices we want to adjust. Uh, I might actually do this from front view. It just is going to uh, select through the model a little bit better. So I want to maybe select these holes. <laughs> there we go. Get a nice soft selection and let's maybe increase. Increase this transition a bit. Okay, so if I hide this, now we have something like that. Now uh, we want to push these guys out a little bit. So let's select them. Select the central line, roughly, and push them out. Make sure that we're not penetrating through uh, the geo here. And then smooth it. And maybe slightly push it in. I feel like I'm crushing through a little bit. Mm. There we go. Just so we actually, I just want to lift it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. This looks better. There we go. Yeah, and then, you know, we can make some micro adjustments. We can come in here and do some like sculpting on it and make sure that things are uh, aligning nicely. You know, so our hard poly modeling is showing.
This is the opposite side, by the way. There we go. Now that we have this, uh, what we can do is we can convert all of our uh, geometry to uh, from instances to copies. So modify, convert, um, instance to object. Now we have a bunch of objects. So now we can select all of this and we can create a lattice. Increase the subdivision so it's nice and smooth. Get rid of the other subdivisions. And now basically all we would have to do is, you know, either kind of scale it down a little bit. And then for the tips, we can kind of rotate them a little bit. Whatever the formations you want to do, we can do at this point. So hide it, and we have a fairly complex thing that <clears throat> that uh, we created, you know, with relative ease. I think.